Hi, and welcome to the second episode of my Eratos Wrath of the Necromancer DLC playthrough. I'm Icon, and we lost a few units last round, but that's okay. Things like these happen every day. So I'm just going to replace a few units here, and we just shall, we'll just keep going. I'm going to rebuild my Reaper here, because... Um, like I mentioned in the first episode, I want to use those new units as much as possible because I think there's a lot of fun in uh, showcasing that newest content, in my humble opinion, that is. So let's give that Reaper a new brain and let's proceed. Still not convinced in using the Hourglass of Doom, though. Mainly because I, I, I don't think this Reaper is there yet. Okay, so let's check out. What do I want to re uh, research here? The ah, well, the soul dissection skill is quite interesting. Mana restore, pretty good. But since I'm working more on the stress side, let's see if I can't do anything about that. So spectral wave can be ah, here we go. Can be reforged into spectral flow. That's way more what I want to see. So I just I'm just looking at um, up if there's something more fitting for my schemes, but no, I'm going to go for the spectral wave. That's really good. So this way I got some frontline stress damage and some back row stress damage. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, now then my abomination. Dear, uh, well they're not getting too much armor, aren't they? Dang. So the threat is actually stacking up higher than the attack. Well, that makes sense for such a meaty bad boy, but uh, okay, currency upgradable 10 times. Surprised about that too. So I'm going to go for some uh, obvious upgrades here. And let's see, wow, 10 points of Vigor Plus, but that's pretty costy. Um, the armor ratings are upgradable five times. Nice, nice. That's a lot of potential in there. I'm going to go for the bigger first. Um, the wraith. I really like to upgrade Terra Wave, but we're not there yet. Um, Winds of Oblivion. That was uh, more damage and push, or just uh, well. I want to have the uh, the push there because same reason. I really love stance removers a lot. I just love those stance removers. Okay, let's give those guys a few base stats alongside. And I also lost my uh, my lost bride, so let's do this as well. Or did I lose her? No, I don't think I did lose her. I think yeah, whatever. Um, Excavation, building requirements, skeleton. Uh, I just want to uh, do some base management here uh, as well because, well, these things are necessary after all. So, excavation, I want to build that because uh, finding random parts is very, uh, very, very important and powerful. There we go. So, I would need a zombie for the next level. And uh, let's check out, is there a... Yes, I can build a new Wraith, wonderful. Um, going to upgrade the Mortuary uh, at the same time, because I really think... Oh no, I don't have the necessary souls, that's no problem. I'm gonna do that next, uh, after the next fight, we're, uh, we're full HP anyways, so... Let's go for the Black Incense. And uh, let's see, that's Dispel, and that's Blood Curse. Enemy loses luck, and I would get vampires for that. Not too interested for uh, in that. Okay. The passive buffs on the other magic schools are really something I like to use. Okay, let's go. Tasty meat. Okay. So that's uh, yet again one of those very simple um, parties to fight against. Let's increase the uh, initiative of our bodies here and uh, AOE stress damage on the Reaper. Wonderful. Okay. Let's shuffle them, guards. We are Legion. Um, let's use the Ghost Fire. 
to apply some more damage over the enemy team. Soften them up a bit. This is so nasty that uh, that, that upgrade, giving the um, this bad boy here a uh, a stack of uh, of break and swallow. I wasn't aware of the uh, functionality there, and I really do like it. Insanity, more insanity, cowardice, and hopelessness. Okay, so things I do notice: um, stress damage is still a viable option on the uh, next higher difficulty level. There, that's good. Okay, let's uh, put down the warning shot here, and um, well, it's time to eat. It's time to feast. Well. Well, maybe not. Maybe more AoE stress damage instead. It's really good that uh, I don't need to do this. So, my friends, where are the heart attacks? I'm really waiting for it. Okay, let's go for another Dread Roar. Ooh, more insanity. Oh, I love it. So, um... Yeah. The um, the Reaper's healing buff doesn't apply when the Reaper is not directly involved in the kill. So um, last time I, I tried that out when they had a curse, the healing occurred. So I wonder. I certainly wonder. Okay, that fight went really good. Smack. There we go, wonderful. So the um, I didn't realize that in time. Oh, well, what? I, I thought that thing does move him. Shouldn't that moved him now two squares backwards? Guys, we need to talk about this. I think because that not that doesn't uh, work as intended here. Would you die already, please? Here we go. Wonderful. Very, very um, good fight. So, minion becomes immune to ignition. Hmm, useful. Really, really useful. Nah, we got some bones already. And I'm short of three souls. No! So, um, well. Don't need to do anything here. So I wonder, ah, here, potion making, um, that's new, that's the new feature, I guess. Um, quality gets increased and I can discover recipes, awesome, that's really new. So let's uh, do some stuff and uh, something is wrong, it says. Something is wrong, maybe, maybe I should, uh, might get something useful, okay, let's do this. Bad luck mixture, target enemy loses 20 luck. So, um, ready potions. Are they, uh, artifacts to be equipped, or how does that work? No. So, um, how do these potions work? They're not here. Let's say, uh... Well, let's see. I'm gonna check it out when I'm at the next fight. Um, these people here got some new stats. I want to have more evasion and more luck on the bride. The other people here are not um, worth my attention too much. But then again, ah, uh, well, there's a. Uh, there's no need to use that bride. I'm, I just uh, realized. Let's see, Eratus statue, restoring mana. Not too interested, but this uh, girl here will be a sacrifice. Just realized I don't want that. I'll do something else instead. Something I really like to try, and that's uh, doubling certain uh, minions, because you don't need to uh, have um, Different different uh, units. You can just repeat units. That works perfectly fine too. Oh, and uh, of course, I mean, come on! I bought that pack, didn't I? Let's use. Uh, I pre-purchased that uh, that pack, so let's use the benefits of that. All right, let's check out what's happening over here. 
I can get myself a minion. Let's take that dump here. Why not? Oh, my first battle with an with an elite enemy involved. So, let's see if that works out better. Or is it? Yeah, it's an elite miner. Look at him. Uh, look at his golden pickaxe there. Fancy pants. So we're going to use the haste spell, and you see, these buddies here all went back in the turn order. Okay. So now that I got the uh, option to just uh, wail away on these guys, I'll just uh, start my attack on on the Mad Mage. I really want to take down this guy. Insanity. Lovely. Um, let's see. Evolution. Well, it would push, push him forward. I don't want that. Um, buff removal. I don't need that. So let's apply some nice damage over time effects instead. So I just want to uh, check out if this works out as I... Uh, as I think that everybody uh, suffering from this, uh, um, from the curses of a uh, of a reaper, applies the group healing when he dies. That's my uh, big question here. Because if it works like that, it would be really, really powerful for me. So there we go. We're going to see if it works though. Betrayal. I love betrayals. So let's eat up. And, uh, well, they they need to die from the damage over time effect for the healing to trigger. I see. I figured as much, but, you know, you gotta try it out to know. There's a lot of pressure on my little bad boy here. Okay. So, let's apply some more of those... And, oh, well, no killing blows as of yet, but, uh, mmm, double crit betrayal, yummy. Oh my god, triple crit, nice, okay, whatever. So, I'm going to shield that guy here with my, uh, with my baddie. 30 healing per turn anyway, so, doesn't work that easy, sadly. So I'll just use the dissection here to take this guy down and trigger some neat healing over my pa party. Okay, so um, jar of acid. All enemies lose armor and resistance until the battle ends. I like that. I really like that. So where's that that uh, potion? Where? Well, well let's see. By using potions, you can enhance one or all minions. But uh, how is this supposed to work? Anyways, I don't want to experiment with this too much while I'm having so uh, few this few parts. So um, the whip, the whip is not really necessary here. But do I want to have fate or sorrow next uh, next level? I think I want to have sorrow. Some uh, extra damage from Erratus' side does sound pretty nice to me. So, um, yeah, Double Reaper didn't feel too well, but uh, having an, uh, another Reaper opens up the option to uh, to put him back to um, some, some training and some recovery if necessary. Okay, so my bride here got her first upgrade. Let's see, Warning Shot, upgradable to uh, Ward Ignorance or Move denial. I want that ward ignorance because I love it when I can take away buff uh, stances from people no matter what. So next thing, upgrading this mortuary. Right now I have no people that need the slot but uh, it is very very good to have two, uh, two spots where you can um, heal up people. So there's uh, no no chance in avoiding this uh, fight. So I'm going to head towards my cultists because uh, I like those uh, cultist events a lot. There we go. 
So I gotta deal with elite units anyways because they're getting more and more common now. And a full elite squad should be beatable. All right, let's use the haste again. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> so let's. Oh, instant insanity, cowardice, wonderful. So um, this guy here is having is standing on the wrong position, though. I just uh, realize. Um, dang. Oh no, I buffed him. So I'm um, focusing my attacks now on this guy. So there we are. Winds of Oblivion. Missing. Dang. But, uh, well, I got my bride in between there. So, I mean, let's try it one more time. Oh, now it did work. Did I just, uh, cast the wrong spell there? Possibly. Possibly. Would make sense. Anyways, um... The, uh... These guys with their stances, that's, uh... Pretty easy to uh, work around, as you see. I even... Oh, I... I didn't toggle off that stance, though. Okay. Good to know. Was it because he missed? Or was it because... Well, I gotta check that one more time. So... Oh, I can't use that from the back line. Dang. Well, let's uh, toss a terror away from these baddies. Goodbye. Ow. So Spectral Wave can't be used from the back row, I see. Well, well. I'll just keep doing what I do best. Scaring puny mortals. <laughs> well, that's uh, it's very. Th those are very puny attempts of betraying each other. But uh, well, I appreciate their effort. Okay, that's that. I love it how they kill each other. So. My personal verdict, the Reaper's uh, stress damage iteration is only um, mediocre at uh, healing your units. The feature doesn't trigger often enough when you use uh, when you use the stress damage portion. Especially, it's not really reliable when you're using the physical damage uh, um, variant on these guys. It's way easier to trigger a killing blow on the Reaper definitely a thing so well that's okay though I don't mind I'll just see um, agony can be upgraded for a heavier curse portion too okay but I want the spectral flow yes I'm heavily uh, specced into stress damage right now but uh, it's fun it's really fun and it works quite well, especially now that I got units like uh, the Reaper to assist me to do some actual physical damage. I got the Wraith with magic damage, I got the uh, Scythe of Death, and apart from that I don't really need too many uh, um, damage variants if uh, ever my enemies are too resilient against uh, stress damage whatsoever. I got options, you know. It's pretty good. So. Let's check it out. Oh, I can finally learn Sorrow. Wonderful. So I got now my own my own uh, spell casting stress damage at my disposal. And uh, now, how does this work? Each time Eratos uses an active talent, the Reaper increases spell power until the end of battle. That's so awesome. Okay, so uh, my cultist friends, what do you have for me? Oh, another hourglass of doom. Um, wedding gift. The second slipper, I want to have the second slipper, this is so good. Um, the Banshee gets 20% of her HP back whenever she's she's getting missed. Oh, I've got a new skin for her too. Awesome. Hey, look at all those skins. I don't know where they're from, but I do like them. Okay, can't remember when I got them, but uh, definitely uh, 
definitely a good thing to do. All right, let's go. This is going to be the first real uh, dangerous fight, and this is the first uh, fight with um, with um, a stress immune enemy. And that's why I really like to take down Mad Mages as soon as possible. And there we go. Spell power increase triggered. Wonderful. So, well... I think I'm going to take down the Golem pretty much at, at the la as the last uh, enemy there. I just want to take get away... Uh, get this uh, Mage away as quick as possible, because... Uh, obvious reasons. That's uh, oh, yeah. That one person which I really wanted to hit with the soprano, of course, didn't get hit. Whatever. I'm going to guard my little banshee here because I don't want her to uh, take another attack at this point. And my um, my abomination doesn't care, you know. There we go. Well, my uh, my bride is suffering a lot by that, but uh, well, this guy is not a problem anymore. Yum. I can only say yum. Okay, now let's use that on this guy. Well, it's an elite taskmaster, therefore I don't want to kill him first. So, what do we do next? Um, well, do some debuffs here. It even hits the um, the golem there. So, lower attack ne needs uh, means lower damage. I do like that. And uh, one more time, let's go for a spectral flow here. Ooh, more insanity. I like that. Ah, uh, he's, uh, he's now dying every turn. A little bit more. I like that. But he's getting an extra action for that. It's not its not a good deal for him. So let's see. Well, that didn't work out, didn't it? Um, well... Let's use one of those. Oh no! Okay, that worked. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's see. Ooh, nasty. Maybe I can finish off somebody with my Reaper, you know. There we go. Another smack from the Golem, but that's a good... Wow! 70 damage? Oh my god. That's a bit much. So, um, well... 22 armor on this beastie, so... Well, we're going to, uh to have a little bit of uh, trouble killing that guy, but wow. So, might as well skip her, uh, skip her action here. Okay. Good thing this uh, beastie didn't go for um, my uh, golem there. So, that won't work at all. That won't work at all. I'm going to shield my uh, my my very uh, my, my most threatened unit here. Uh, elite fights are always uh, a little bit more dangerous. That's uh, that's something I, I was expecting, but I didn't expect that much damage uh, on the uh, on this guy. But well, the golem can't attack my um, my reaper, therefore I'm really happy. But 75 damage per blue. It's really a lot. Okay, but there we go. I did it. They did it. We did it. Whatever. I didn't lose a unit. That's uh, really, really good. So, these guys are fresh again. Let's, uh... Let's do this then. Um, Banshees are quite good at the last slot. They are only unable to use the Soprano, I, I remember. But apart from that, let's see. I really want my Arena. Let's do this. Craft a new Skeleton. There we are, right above it. And let's see.
Okay, so the arena gives me a, an opportunity to just uh, level up my units while they're not being used. Okay, there we go. So there's a quest. I think I want to go for a little uh, trick of alchemy here. And uh, I want to have this. No, not all my armors. None of my armors to begin with. Let's take some more blood. Um, well, whatever. I could have put up a uh, my two units out of the mortuary and... Uh, not interested. Undead are at home in darkness, but their vision piercing uh, no their vision piercing the black veil with ease. Right now your undead host has spotted a living patrol. They do not seem aware of you yet, so this might be your best chance for an ambush. Well, let's proceed with the attack, I'd, I'd say. So three elite units. Gosh. Um well start out with the miners, I'd say. Unlucky. So let's use this spell. Apply a little, a uh, little double curse here. Ooh. So I really want to take down this guy first because uh, he will act twice. And ooh. well, on on a on an elite unit, it is quite uh, scary to let them act twice in a row. You know. That stance from these guys is so uh, refreshingly harmless. So, let's go. Well, I'm going to go for a Spectral Flow. Oh, dang. I, I considered the, um, the um, ultimate attack here, but I figured this is a guaranteed kill. That stuff from the Reaper is no guaranteed kill and, uh, well... Hopeless. Wonderful. Let's apply that. Ooh, more insanity! More hopelessness. I love it. Okay, now, uh, whenever an enemy moves, let's see. That really uh, synergizes well with uh, the Spectre and, uh, and the Abomination, because they both love to shuffle enemies. all working out nicely. The only thing um, I, I really dislike so far is the fact that my um, Reapers are getting killed so quickly. They keep getting killed so quickly. It's really um, a problem here. So let's uh, go for the Winds of Oblivion. It's a little push. Moving them both. Oh well, only if now. This guy didn't count as being moved, okay. I see. Let's just hope my uh, my poor little uh, Reaper doesn't get killed here. Okay, wonderful. So, maybe we get lucky? No? No heart attack? Too bad. So, um, well... That skill still does uh, stress damage. Awesome. Okay, well... I think I, I gotta go for a different frontliner. Ooh, I got stat points and a big, a big bunch of Aratus experience out of that. Nice. Didn't know that. So there's uh, a lot of elite enemies up ahead of me again. And, uh, well, those guy, guys are all too, too roughed up to be used. That's no problem, though. Um, I'm low on brains, I just realized. Um going to use another frontliner here and uh how about the mummy the mummy is such an awesome frontline unit to begin with most of his uh skills are uh, stress damaged and uh he can use almost everything out of the front row let's do it so i'm going to bring none of these my abomination can get another upgrade mm, i love it so uh battle thumping can't be used for stress damage Dread Hunger, increasing the dread, way more interesting. And, uh, well, a stun chance, let's do this. 
Adding up a stun chance on the on this skill is extremely powerful in my humble opinion. Um, let's go for another buff stripping upgrade. You might notice I'm I'm focusing a lot on buff stripping in general because um, there are so many enemies uh, in this game which are totally annihilating you if you're uh, if you're um, letting them buff themselves for, um, too much. And uh, is that an that's an ogre. They are new. I've never seen one of those before. Can't be moved. Takes up two adjacent positions. Well, it's uh, nothing too unusual. The Doomsayer. Um, his allies gain less chance to go insane. I see. Okay, but first up, let's say Battle Thumping. Um, yeah, let's do this. Two turns. Debuff them boys a bit. Okay. So, um... I can't go... Uh, okay, that's uh, that's really neat. So that means... Um, the ogre is uh, protecting um, from AoE attacks like these. I see. Well... I'm going to start out with a... I just wanted to say I'm going to start out with a uh, with the back row, but uh, I don't know if this ogre is giving me really that much uh, chance to choose. <laughs> so, uh, ah yeah, well. How much sanity does the ogre have? Three hundred. That's not too much. So, um, okay, betrayal chance on this bad boy. I love it. So. All right. Impending horror. Well, that doesn't work at all. So, let's just uh, curse touch the ogre. Bang. Quite an impressive sight, these ogres, I gotta say. So, well... Let's use this one. I don't, I don't see the necessity to guard anybody. Um, when there's no damage on anybody whatsoever, so I expected that, that move at some point sooner or later. So let's see. Oh uh, well, I, I wanted to try and stun this guy. Wow, that was really quick. Okay, I think yeah, Terra Wave seems in order to me. Bang, one less thing to worry about. So, these ogres are very interesting enemies to begin with, because you can't move them. Oh, gosh. Oh, wonderful. Because you can't move them, and therefore uh, you have to accept that you have to chunk through them at this point. So, um, well. This guy is very stress resilient all of a sudden. So, what to do? What? Repent or die. When this character dies, the Doomsayer and his allies will restore vigor and sanity. Interesting. So, 20% uh, of sanity remaining. So, let's, let's calculate that. So, 20% of sanity would be 60. Um, having no chance of dealing the complete amount of damage. Therefore, I'll rather not... But uh, my my baddie here could eat a uh, whole ogre if he wants to. Yep, you got it right. Oh, I love it. It's so good when they uh, when they start betraying each other. Wonderful. There we go. So um, let's see. I, I'm going to try if that doesn't uh, strip away that uh, repent or die buff. Yes, it did. Oh well, there's it again. But uh, here, desolate screen. Buff removal. I love it. It's so it's so useful, you know. Let's shield the banshee furthermore. The abomination is uh, one of my favorite new additions to the game so far. Oh well, let's hex beam that. I want to get. I want to get, uh, hit that guy here too. Yeah. Well. That worked out really good. 
Well, let's keep shielding. I just don't want any further damage on my uh, on my Banshee here. And that's this guy. So we're going to finish today's episode with that, I'd say. And, uh, well... Chapter 1... We're, we're, re we're nearing... Um, we're getting nearer to the completion of Chapter 1 here. I guess the mummy seems to be a very fine uh, frontliner for this uh, for this um, formation now that I uh, look more closely at it. One point. Seriously, I'm lacking one point for my ultimate. Dang. That's disappointing. <laughs> well, well. Bye bye, buddy. Terrifying visage. All minions receive 10% extra damage dealt. Okay. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching so much, my friends. And we're going to have more fun next episode. And feel free to leave me a comment down below. Feel free to leave a like or even a subscription on the channel if you enjoyed the show. So, let's uh, check out the map. So next episode, well, I think I'm getting closer to uh, to the boss there, so good stuff. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.